channel. I hope that you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. You guys, this is going to be your short and sweet. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into it. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this message finds y'all in the best of energies. Okay. In the best of energy. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. Four clear and precise messages for your viewers. What is it that we need to hear and see? What are these people come to their channel, our channel, to hear, Holy Spirit? Show me clearly what is the energy for this short and sweet. Tapping all the way in for the spiritually tapped all the way in, turned all the way up because we spiritually rich AF over here. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Oh, okay. Ace of Swords. We got the Ace of Swords. Something about truth and clarity here. Okay. Some type of truth and clarity. The Ten of Pentacles. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. My bad. Okay, so some truth and clarity. The Ten of Pentacles is out here. Okay. Some of y'all have chose to just surrender it. You're like, look, I can't, Lord. Uh, I need you to show me the way. I need you to guide me. I need to... Um, receive some truth and clarity from the divine here. Some of y'all got some really, really, really big life changing um, decisions and choices to make. And you're trying to figure out what would be the best route for you and your family. Okay. Um, I may be giving y'all some clarity about that in this read. Maybe you guys are being offered some form of a commitment. This could have to do with work, money, um, resources, um, anything. Okay. And you're trying to figure out what, what what to do okay i'm hearing much ado about nothing i think that's a book or a movie i'm not sure okay and maybe you're trying to figure out what to do okay the devil all right the devil okay the devil's been cleared out cut off i'm hearing chopping block There's a situation where maybe something toxic occurred or happened or someone was acting out of their ego or confirmation. Someone wasn't wasn't being, wasn't packing, how they say packing fair with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, somebody wasn't quite packing fair with, with you. You know what I'm saying? And it's a vibe where the energy that was manipulating or controlling a situation or causing that energy to flourish, um, that energy has been cut off. Okay? It's been cut out of maybe a picture, a frame. Um, it's giving me like, because I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles again, but that time it came out as like a picture. It's been cut out of, it's been cut out the picture, okay? Whatever energy was causing deception, moving from their ego, being deceitful, conniving, not packing fair with you, that energy has been cut out of the equation. Thank you, Spirit, the equation. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles came through as an equation, all right? The Knight of Cups is here. So we have the Knight of Cups, okay? So somebody could have been coming towards you with an apology, an offer, okay? Um, and the devil has been cut out, cut off. Okay. Someone sees the truth about... If it wasn't this person that, that's been cut off, it's like the person that was causing this energy. They've been, they've been, I want to say the word exposed. They've been exposed. Okay. Someone sees someone's true colors. The four of pentacles. Yeah. They wasn't packing fair. So someone sees the true colors of whoever this was that wasn't packing fair with you. It's like a third party wasn't packing fair with you. When I say third party, I don't mean relationship-wise. I mean like 
you could have worked for someone that was maybe the supervisor or the manager, but the owner wasn't packing fair with you. The manager maybe had to do to make a decision about you. And now they're coming back to you like, okay, we know what that was. We know what that was about. We know whose energy that was and whose it wasn't. We see the truth about the owner. That's the devil or being toxic or egotistical. Okay. And it's like, now that they see that they're coming back to you, like telling you, someone's going to come toward you. Like I see, I seen, I seen someone's true colors, the manager, the supervisor, Okay, it doesn't have to be any of those those titles, but I have to give it a title so I can give give you the, the storyline. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so basically, your manager could see the truth about the owner, an owner of a company. Okay, and they could have came to you like, man, I found out what the owner was really up to, or I know what the owner was really into. Okay. And I'm coming to you now because I want to, one, apologize if I, you know what I mean, came off any type of way or treated you any way or disrespected you in any way. It wasn't my, it wasn't, that wasn't my intention, wasn't in my heart to do that to you. But I had to do this because this boss didn't want to pack fair with you. So it's like somebody had to save face to a boss in order to keep their job, but they F you over in the process, okay? But now they see the truth about that situation. This is something that could have occurred in the past. Now they see the truth about that situation and they're like, okay, the Four of Cups. Yeah, they could have rejected you. Do you know what I'm saying? They could have disrespected you, treated you dis unsatisfactory. You know what I'm saying? 444 energy is significant. They could have rejected you, break harmed you, or didn't pack fair with you either because of what this boss had going on. Somebody had ulterior motives here, and somebody else found out about it, and now they're coming to you remorseful or apologetic, like, I apologize that this happened. I'm sorry this went this way. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. This has to do, this is work, this is workplace energy I'm picking up on. Somebody could have been very manipulative. That something about the center of attention, they wanted to be the center of attention. The eight of wands. Yeah, this is, I'm giving y'all the truth right here. Somebody wanted to be the center of attention. Maybe they felt like you was infringing on that or you were... They felt threatened. Somebody was threatened by you. And it's like the owner. The owner was threatened by you. But now there's some clear communication here. There's a clear understanding. Five of Wands about who was causing the conflict. Now, some space and time and distance has been put in between y'all. Like, maybe you don't even work there anymore. Okay? But it's like the truth is out about this. Okay, and the King of Cups is this person. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That could be significant in this scenario. Um, but this King of Cups is coming through. It's like someone's gained a deeper enlightenment or deeper understanding about what was causing this conflict. They could have found themselves in, in conflict with this same energy. So maybe they reached out to you or called you. Like, man, you know, ooh, judgment. Coming through is like someone making a judgment call. Someone else could have judged you, uh, judged the book by its cover, like judged you without even knowing you, you know what I'm saying? Or without even having dealt with you themselves. Or just took someone's word for something, you know what I mean? So it's like now they're releasing the energy where they weren't packing fair with you. So
So say if it's your supervisor, like I said, or your manager, and the owner was acting shady, and then it had your manager or your supervisor acting shady, and then now they see the truth about this shady owner and their or the business dealings within this business, and they're like, look, I see what's really going on. I even want to put some space in between them. I'm making some changes. I'm about to release them. Like even this supervisor or this manager is about to let go. Like, mm -mm, I don't want no parts. Okay, the seven of pentacles. It's like the same thing this owner was doing to you, the owner start doing to the manager when you left. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. That was the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay? So the same thing this, this owner was doing to you, being shady, um, not packing fair, breadcrumbing, you know what I mean? Misjudging them. Maybe causing some type of confrontation. Okay? Someone could have been very confrontational. It's a vibe here where they, they started doing the same thing to this manager or this supervisor when you left. So now this manager or this supervisor, I get the vibe like they branched out on their own to do something else. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords. They were they bringing something to an end. Oh, they about to walk away from this job. They about to leave this job. Confirmation spiritual coach. They gonna leave that job. The Five of Swords because they see that they were dealing with a snake in the grass. Okay? There was a snake in the grass here, Five of Swords. So they about to leave that job too. You could have already left the job. You already saw truth. You already had truth and clarity. You came out of the Ace of Swords. So you already knew the truth about this devil. You already knew it was a snake. You already knew somebody was trying to manipulate uh, or blur the lines of communication or call some type of, you know what I'm saying? sabotage or something like that you already knew this you could have told them that when you worked there like man that owner they ain't no good yeah they don't got no good energy you could have said something to somebody about this particularly to this manager or this supervisor now they see it for themselves and i feel like the reason they see it for themselves and are deciding to walk away from this job or this position is because they don't got they've gotten sabotaged by this same owner, the same business owner. So this is like shady business. The four of wands in the reverse. Yeah, it's not safe. They don't want to be there no more. They want to establish, they want to put some space in between. Because they ended up wounded. They want a new start as well. So like I said, this person could have branched out. They could just, they could, they ended it or they're about to end this, this, they're about to leave this workspace. They could have called you like, Hey, I'm about to leave or Hey, I'm working over here now. Do you want to come over here and work with me? I'll bring you on. I'll put you on. They feel a way. Like, I feel like they feel off. They didn't like, it didn't sit right in their spirit when they, when they, when they went against you for this owner. You know what I'm saying? That it didn't sit, it didn't, it didn't sit well in their spirit. And they've always, like, I don't know how long, maybe three years, three months to eight, eight months, eight years that you haven't been around this at this job or something. Five months, four months, four years, five years, something like that. It's been some some time in between where it's like now they they realizing what was really going on but it didn't sit well with them from jump like the next day or same day after it happened they was like mm, this ain't sitting well with me but you had already gone on about your business they feel like they backstabbed you or sabotaged things for you in your life they feel like whoever this is they realize they got their karma They got their karma. Now, they've also heard or found out that you overcame whatever the betrayal was that went down in this business with this shady owner. They see you standing in your power. 
this person could have reached out to you unexpectedly like hey um let's 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 straighten it out okay they could have a business proposition for you i feel like it, it, they're gonna be sad if you don't take this whatever this business proposition is like like I said, whoever this is, they're about to leave this company or they already did and they've gone somewhere else where they're like, man, I am by Ozella Bella subscriber would be a perfect fit here. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't take this offer, they're going to be, they're going to feel, they're going to feel rejected. And you very well could choose to keep space and opportunity in between y'all because I feel like you don't like how things went down. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? What else do we need to know about this? So we see here that they got they they received their karma because they got sabotaged or betrayed. You know what I mean? Some this person, this owner stabbed them in the back too. This owner stabbed them in the back too. The six of cups is here. You could have had a really fun, um, playful energy about you okay you could have been very optimistic very youthful like you brought a lot of light or power or energy to this space okay you were a key part of this business it's like when you left things i feel like things began to fall apart in these individuals personal lives as well as in the workspace like the the relationship there was a breakdown in the relationship okay in the within the partnership of the camaraderie thank you spirit the camaraderie within the employees and then also in their personal lives i feel like a lot they these people was they got their karma they definitely definitely received their karma for what they did to you someone here you could have gotten terminated from a job without reason without cause Without proper explanation. Confirmation spiritual belch. The queen of pentacles. The knight of swords. The king and queen of pentacles is out here. There's a new job here. So one part, they're walking away from one job and they're going to another one. For you, you also did the same thing, but it's like now this Knight of Swords is here. They want to move. They want to rush in, to move towards you quickly. The Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. This Knight of Swords wants to run towards you quickly because you're, a, you're whatever you possess, whatever skill or um, I feel like it's a skill or whatever talent. Whatever credentials you have, thank you, Spirit, credentials, that's what it is. Whatever credentials you have, 333 is very significant. Um, they they need this, this supervisor or this manager who's branched out and went in a new direction or plans on it. They're like, I need, I need someone like you. Ain't that something? You don't miss something you got till it's gone, right? I feel like your energy was very much missed from this place when you left. So now they, they want to move towards you. The hangman in the reverse, they've had a change of perspective here. Yeah, they had a change of perspective about this shady owner or this shady business. The Knight of Wands. And they're hoping that you will be adventurous, that you'll take a risk, a leap of faith, that you'll branch out, that you're that you will take action when they come towards you. They're hoping that you'll match their their um, energy, is what they're hoping. They're hoping that you'll match their energy. Yeah, they want you, the lovers here. They want you to come together. They want you to they want you to partner with them. Spiritual belt, excuse me, confirmation. They want you to partner with them. Now, I don't know what you're gonna do. You could have a lot of fear behind this. The moon, because something it was it was shady. You know what I'm saying? The eight of swords and the moon card. You could be like real skeptical about this because it was shady. 
It was shady. You could feel like this person, like they, you don't trust them. <laughs> they burnt the bridge with your trust, okay? But they're hoping that you'll, you know what I mean? They're hoping you'll take this contract. They got a contract for you. They're hoping that you'll either come where they are and work with them at this new place, or they're hoping that you will partner with them. But you see them as shady. You're like, mm, I don't want to go through what I went through the last time. I remember, like, I feel like you remember this experience and you don't have good memories about the experience. The outcome or the ending. Like I said, these people could have, they could have terminated you without reason, without cause. And then now, you know, because they, they, this manager works somewhere else. Now they're like, oh, come work with me. And you're like, mm, if I come work with you, am I going to have a job next week? Or are you going to be on that same shady shit that that owner was on? You know what I'm saying? Be like, I'm working where I am. I got a job. <laughs> and you could have even recently received a promotion. You're like, mm, I don't know about this. Y'all, to be honest, I can't get a clear read on it myself. It's like, I want to say they see the truth about this devil. I mean, they see something wasn't right because they leaving too. So they don't like something that was going on there. But I guess what you would have to decide is, was it the owner? Was it a collective of the energy, the owner and the manager? We know at one point it was both because they were taking part in whatever this owner, they like they was on the same, you know what I mean? Whether it was for their job or whatever. So, you know, those things are running through your mind. Like, okay, if I do this, are they going to side with the owner and not have my back? Or are they like, what? Because whoever you were, you were doing your job so much so that you were remembered, your presence or your absence was felt. And so much so that now they want to give you another opportunity to work with them. So you were doing something right, okay? Let's see what else comes out. Because <clears throat> if you weren't doing something right, they wouldn't be back on your line talking about, hey, I'm over here now. You want to come work with me? <laughs> I need somebody I can trust. You want to come, you want to come work with me? You want to come run this company? The sun. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that it's things have turned around because they went from shady to okay, the sun is out here, so maybe they're ready to, to be truthful and honest, no longer deceptive. But I don't know, you know what I mean? The will of fortune. Okay, this could be really good money. Like this could be double your pay that you're getting right now. But it's like all money ain't good money. You know what I'm saying? So you're in this position where you have to decide, is the money worth it? Is the money worth the risk or is the risk worth the money? Do you know what I'm saying? Now, granted, you won't be under the same owner. But is this manager or this supervisor, you know, are they on the upside of their energy? It's giving me two cards showing that they are and that they've leveled up. They have nothing to hide. The sun card is here, but they asses were shady. And I feel like this is what you were skeptical or you are skeptical about is the shade. <laughs> the shade was real. Okay. <laughs> One more card spin or two. Yeah, the shade was definitely, definitely real. Okay. High Priestess. Ooh, y'all going to have to listen to y'all's intuition on this. You guys are going to have to really sit with and listen to your intuition because your intuition is going to guide you to make the right decision about this. This is, y'all got big boy, big girl decisions right here. I hope y'all got y'all big boy, big girl draws on. Okay. I hope so. All right. Overall energy for this short and sweet, Holy Spirit. Thank you. The Page of Pentacles. This is an offer. Y'all are being faced with an offer, but there is distance in between you and this person. This is an offer you're receiving from somebody at a distance from you. 
Okay? So you're going to have to decide what y'all want to do. They had a, they've had a change of, I almost want to say a change of heart or a change in perspective here. The hangman is in the reverse. Okay? So they know, they've, they've, they've learned a lesson or two or a thing or two. Okay? Possibly about being shady. Possibly about being shady to someone who didn't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, this is hard. I wish I could have gave you all some more clarity on it, like on what exactly to do. But all I have for you is that you're going to have to listen to your intuition. Okay. All right. Yeah. Craftsmanship. This has to do with work. Okay. Keep working. Okay. Keep working. For some of you, this could be a sign saying, keep working where you work at. Keep working on the craft that you're in. Don't move. <laughs> For others of you, this is just saying, like, this could be something that's going to keep you working. I don't know. Okay. Oh, this is rough. Only the strong survive. Spirit ain't giving us a lot of uh, insight <laughs> on what to do. But this is the message. Shady business. Shady business owner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, my loves.